Welcome to another video. We're gonna see why it is important to apply object scale in Blender. So for the case study, we have the 3D model of a Mini Cooper. And we wanna try to recreate this render. As we can see, we want to model a surface on which the car will be positioned. So to get started, I will import the Mini Cooper within Blender. So file import FBX and the model will be over here. Now, the model should load within Blender. This will take several seconds. As you can see, it is currently processing. But afterwards, we are going to construct that surface using a plane. So we have the car ready. I'm going to delete the default cube. And now we have the cursor position within the origin. I'm going to press Shift A. We're going to go for Mesh. And I'm going to define a plane. The plane, we can also check the values of that plane. If we're going to press N, we're going to have the dimension over here within the item section at the top for the transform. And we're going to see that this is a 2x2 two two plane. I'm going to press the scale. So having the plane selected, I'm going to press S to scale. Afterwards, I'm going to select the axis, which in this case will be Y. And if I'm going to move my mouse cursor, I'm going to see that I can increase that length. We're going to see at the top left corner the scale value, as we can see over here. Now it's with minus because I moved the, the rotation of the cursor over here. But I'm going to scale this 10 times and afterwards I'm going to press enter. As you can see, we have that bottom plane position. I will want to have this reposition to be more similar with the one within this render. So I'm going to press G for grab, afterwards Y, and I'm going to move this plane over here, so around 7 meters. Now, with the plane selected, I'm going to press Tab to go within edit mode. So we are currently within object mode. I'm going to press tab. We're going to go to edit mode. And in edit mode, I'm going to select edge selection. I'm going to select the front edge. And afterwards, I will press E for extrude. As you can see, we can have this extruded. But I want to constrain this on the Z axis. Therefore, I will press Z axis. And I will move the mouse to the bottom. You're going to see this will be a value with minus. So I'm going to go with minus 5 in this case. I'm going to do the same for the end. So E for extrude, Z for the axis. I'm going to move the mouse at the top. And I'm going to add a value of 5 in this case. So using the numpad 5 and enter. Now, if I will rotate, we're going to see that our surface currently looks like this. So in order to reach a similar model to, to the reference, we're going to add a fillet over here. So to add fillets within Blender, we're going to need to add a bevel. So I'm going to go again with edge selection. I'm going to select this edge. And we can find the bevel over here. As we can see, this is the bevel. So it will be Control B. But by default, if I will apply bevel on this scaled plane, I'm going to see that the bevel will act like this. So as we can see, it will not be properly aligned. I can use the mouse wheel to add additional segments. So this will make this more rounded. So we transform a chamfer to a fillet. But as you can see, this will not act accordingly. So to do that, I'm going to press Escape to cancel that. I'm going to press Tab to exit edit mode. I'm going to go back within object mode. It's important to add the let's say we need to apply the scaling for this so go to object apply and we're going to apply the scale and now with the scale applied if i will press and we're going to see that the dimensions will remain the same so we're going to have the x value two meters in this case the width of our surface we're going to have also the height so in total will be 10 meters five at the bottom five at the top and you're going to have the distance on the y-axis 20 meters but now if i will press tab again this will take me back to edit mode 
the edge selection will remain if i will try to reapply the bevel on the same edge by pressing ctrl b we're gonna see that now this will be a lot better so as you can see this will be by default a chamfer and if i will move the wheel at the top we're gonna have this defined as a fillet so at the bottom we can read we have a total number of segments eight now i can increase that to 10 and i can also add a specific value for example i can add 0 0.2 meters afterwards i'm gonna hit enter if i'm gonna leave that edit mode we're gonna see that defined we can also right click we can go with shade smooth over here and as we can see that surface will look really good so we're no longer gonna see those those faces that define the the edge we can do the same to the back if you're gonna take a look at the reference you're gonna see that that surface will also have a bevel over there so i'm gonna press again tab afterwards i will select the edge ctrl b for bevel and the same number of profile used before remains so we have 10 segments so i'm just gonna add the value 0 0.2 afterwards press tab again to leave that so this is how you can easily apply bevel within within blender it's really important if you wanna let's say shape various elements into blender to keep note of the object apply and you need to apply that scale or in some cases also for location and rotation so if you modify various elements you can just go with apply all transform and afterwards all the features will act as intended so i hope that you like this video i will position a similar video over here to the left and the subscribe button to the right so thanks for watching